All right, so here we go. So I got this running. I got multiple strategies running right here. I mean, multiple strategies running in the background currently right now. So this is uh, every trade from January 3rd. You can see market replay. We're running it right now this morning uh, in the in the trade room here. We started in the trade room this morning at 1-3-2023, first day of trading, and we're going all the way to yesterday at 3-15. So we're taking every single trade. I have two different types of strats. Let me get this one out of the way. Strats you guys are going to be getting. I've got the wave strat, the zone, the zone trader strat, and I got the momentum strat. All right. So we're running this. We're going to run this all the way to. It's going to take every trade from 9:35 Eastern Standard Time to 4 Eastern Standard Time. And here is my, on the right, is my Momo strategy. And over here is my zone strategy. You guys are going to get both. You're also going to get an indicator on this zone strategy. When you see these trades fire off on the strategy, when an arrow prints, an audible alert will automatically fire. So you will get an audible alert that automatically fires off of this indicator. Okay, so the strategy you're running right now, the zones to the left, the momentum is to the right. There is an indicator, if you don't want to run the strategy, that will just strictly fire arrows when the market looks like it's going to go potentially vertical. Arrows will not fire on this new strategy or, or indicator unless we're in a possible vertical market. It was designed, both are designed to look for vertical movements I mean, in the market to put us in a position where the market is going to go vertical. Now, the key for this strategy, let's go to the J strategy first. So the key for this strategy, the key for this strategy, if you look below, is that what it's going to do is it's going to look for, here, I'll, I'll let this thing run. I'll just show you. It's going to look for retracements that have, uh, this is the time is already closed off at 1601. But what it's going to do, it's going to look for shallow retracements. So you can see this oscillator. If this oscillator is above 50, or the oscillator is below 50, and then my retracement swing is put in, for shallow retracements, it's going to take this trade. As this thing ticks, you'll see this. It'll take that trade right there. That arrow will fire right there. It's after uh, 4 o'clock. I only have this trading from 9.35 um, to 4 o'clock. So that's 16.01. But that's what it'll do. If this oscillator is above 50. And you get a shallow retracement. It will take that setup. Now, on the shallow retracements, what I'm talking about is this. So as this thing goes through, as it's ticking through, you'll see J Trader has been trading since January 3rd. It's now January 25th. It's the type of results we got. I have different targets in here. I got some that are break even plus one. Some are not. I'll show you after this thing gets done running, all you members. But what it's doing is cherry picking your trades. So as of right now, see this one? It just took this trade on both strats. So it's taking both trades and look look at the oscillator. Look, the oscillator is above 50. It's above 50. I got a shallow retracement that I have built into the program. I got a shallow retracement built into the program. And I got a tight trail on this. The tight trail just got out there. Tight trail got out there. <clears throat> the difference in this program, the wave, versus the momentum, the zone wave strategy. I have it only taken very small shallow retracements with zone trend only. If it's green, it's only taken buys. If it's red, it's only taken sells with shallow retracements. What it's going to try to do is avoid chop, though. It's going to try to avoid chop and only get in possible vertical markets. Vice versa, if we look here, let's look at back here, this one versus this guy. 
they have very similarities though where the zone trader it it my zone turned green and this is called a power momo and what a power momo is is i'm above my mid band on my midline of 50. if you look at all my videos a momo that i came up with if it stays above 20 it's a momentum trade now what i've done i've noticed that even momentum trades in chop can get stopped out because the uh, the market's oscillating too much so what i've done is after all my testing on this, I've noticed that if we stay above the mid or 50% and we have an extreme reading on the oscillator with all my parameters that are already met here with my speed bars and with my shallow retracement indicator I have built into it, you tend to get vertical markets that take off. Now, what you can do on the zone trader then over here I mean the momentum trader is that I'm letting you pick the number of trades you want the number of swings and what why is that important because now what we can do now what we can do is I can I can now come in here and pick the number of shallow or deep swings for momentum setup so let me get this out of the way Hold on one sec, trader. Okay, so link so you can see the charts move. Let me put this here. So what I can do is I have this is the momentum indicator. It's very simple. The trend is very simple. I got a trend indicator. Just moving averages. Use any moving averages you want. I don't use 1426. That's just can't that's standard. Uh, but I'll show you which ones I like to use. But this is key right here. This is key to the program that I built in retracement strength. If you want to take every single retracement with a with this over here with a with uh, with the momentum trade attached to it, just increase your retracement strength. If you want to take all swings, put a hundred in. The best swing, the, the the most shallow swing is going to be zero. So the most shallow swing you're going to get is zero. All the trades are going to be 100. It's going to take every single swing. But as we know and as we tested, and thank you, Tina, for helping me test this, as we know, if we take all swings, we're not very profitable, are we? If we take every swing, 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 even with trend. So what I, what I realized and why this is doing so well and the accuracy is so, so, so neat with this is that it's all about the retracement strength that's the key what I've noticed is is that now I can determine going into the day what type of trade I want to take if I want to take strictly momentum when the markets going possibly vertical zero if I want to take more if I want to take still vertical movements one because it's at the it's it's closest to zero, right? Retracement strength is very the, the retracement strength is small. Two would be taking more wider, I mean more deep retracements, but still very, very, very shallow. Anything, guys, anything below three, and even actually actually below seven. Seven shallow, but anything below three, we're talking that market should possibly go vertical. We're possibly talking about a vertical market on any market you look at. I don't care if you're trading futures, stocks, currency, uh, crypto, Bitcoin. It, it doesn't matter. If I keep this as zero or one or two or three, what have you, I know I'm possibly in vertical markets. Okay. Here, oh, let me get this thing so we can keep trading. Hold on. Sorry about that. Let that thing keep trading for you. So now that I know that, because see, this is a Momo trade here, right down to the lower 20, but it's not a power Momo. I call them power Momos now. Now the indicator, what we can do with the indicator too, 
is it's if you don't want to trade an auto trade, auto in, auto out with this thing, what you can do, the indicator will fire these arrows only when the market's possibly going vertical based upon the swing that you put in. So if you're like, you're, you come to the day like, you know what, I only want to look for vertical markets only, put a one in or a zero. It's only to look for vertical markets only when there's momentum. Now, if I put in a three, that means it's taking a three swing, a two swing, a one swing, and a zero swing. If I put in a two, that means it's taking a two swing, one swing, zero swing. If I put in a one, it's taking a one swing and a zero swing. If I put in a 10, it's taking one through 10, meaning it's taking all those larger swings, 10 all the way to zero. So you can dictate your swing type. Now what you can do, let's say you like a swing you like. A zero is a small swing you can get. Well, zero is small that you can hit break even off. You hit six single strength. If that's checked, it's only going to look for that tight swing, zero. If you put one with the signal strength is checked, it's going to look for that swing only. It's not going to look for zero. If you like two, two, two is very profitable for you. If you like in a certain currency or what have you, that swing is very, because certain, certain markets have certain uh, patterns to them, and you like that swing, then keep your single strength checked. But what you can do if you uncheck it, it's going to take two or less, two, one, zero. So now I can dictate what my swings are, right? So I can dictate on the Momo how large my swings can be, all right? And that will determine if the market potentially is going to go vertical or not. The larger swing you got, if you go a 10, you're probably going to get a lot of FZR trades in with Momo trades. But I tell you, if you go to zero or one or two or three, you're not going to have any FZR trades. It's strictly momentum. You're strictly getting the momentum of the market. But if you increase that retracement strength size, it's going to go up. Okay? So that being that said, so when we come through here and we look at these, you can run this on the replay. And you can run, you can just go in here and see what <clears throat> these different strats have break even plus one feature and so on. In fact, this strat, like I said, it has all the trails. It's got my four trails built into it. It's got the time of day trade that you can put into it. It's got a hard stop. Your hard stop needs to be above your trails if you want the trails to get you out. It's got targets one through four. You don't have to trade that many targets. You can go down here, and I'll go into conference calls. I'll do this. You can change order handling per direction. You can trade one contract, two contract, three contract, four contract. This will turn on live since you are signing risk disclosures. You can trade this live in the account. All right. I do have a break even plus one feature. That just means after the first targets, break even plus one. That can be toggle on, toggle it off. Now, if you go to the J wave indicator, this is the newer version of it. This is a little bit more in depth. This has my speed bars that, that get involved with it. It's got my trend indicator. It's got the different ATRs that are, I'll have this all to build in. It's got my different stochastics. It's got the four ATRs, but this has a wave feature. You can do wave one. These all three can be checked at the same time. Wave one with the tweezer, with the break even. Now, when you check tweezer, I have this built in not to just take dojis, guys. This does not only take dojis. This takes shallow retracements only. So let's say you just want to take shallow retracements with the zone trader. You want to have that checked. If you, if you don't want to break even, they'll let the trails get you out. Uncheck this. They'll take the first wave after a trend change with shallow retracements. If you want the first wave after a trend change with breaking plus one, you can check that also. But I even got this right here. You can tell I have this right here. I have it set. I have this set to do shallow retracements also. Now, if you look both of them, just took trades. See that? Look at the oscillator on both. 
This is with wave down, oscillators below 50, wave up, oscillators above 50, wave down, oscillators below 50, wave up, oscillators above 50, took another trade. Small stop on that. I had the stops just above the swing high. You can adjust the stops any way you want. So that's the difference between them both, but I'm going to let this run. You can see, let's look at the largest ones and see what type of, of performance we got on the $17,000 one. This is $17,700. Now, guys, listen, this is educational software. Nothing's guaranteed. I'm not saying, hey, you run this, you're going to make $17,000, right? I mean, this, we provide educational software. You know, you sign the risk disclosure if you trade this on the automated trading. You got to know the risk involved or you can't do this, obviously. But we're not saying hypothetical results are not indicative of future results. Just make sure you know that. I know you guys all, all sign those disclosures. But when I show you this stuff, be aware of that. But this, this is since January 1. Look at the drawdown on this. I got a drawdown of 450 bucks with, with almost $18,000 worth of profit on four contracts. I had 14 consecutive winners, max consecutive losers, four meaning it had one set of trades that lost. So this one's running pretty good. A profit factor of 22.45. So, you know, that's running since January 3rd, and this is off of the J-Wave 3. J-Wave 3. It's, it's selecting shallow waves with momentum. Shallow waves with momentum. All right? So... I will run this and I'll show you at the end of what we're looking at on break even plus one features and all that stuff. And um, I'll show you guys what we're talking about there. Okay. But Gerald's wrapping both of these. Uh, once again, here's a shallow. See this shallow, shallow retracement. Look, the oscillator's above 50, gets it in. That's break even plus one. I think I have a break even plus one feature on these, these two. Should be plus one. Oh no, my my uh, trail's getting me out on this one. My trail's getting me out out of both these. I I don't have bees on these. Yeah, I'll go over all that stuff when we're done running it. So we'll we'll break them down and break it down to each one and let you know. So we'll do that with the members. Gerald, shut that off. So this is uh, two strategies that you're going to be getting out in, um, in your mailboxes. Uh, Gerald has both, both of them. You'll be getting the indicator. Listen, if you guys just want to run the indicator, guys, just run the indicator. And it'll get an audible alert when these come up. So when this comes up, the indicator will fire an arrow right there. Boom. And an audible alert on each one of these. Audible alert. Audible alert. Audible alert. Audible alert here. Audible alert there. So if you want to trade on a smaller time frame, manual trading it's only got look how it avoids all this chop avoiding chop avoiding chop avoiding chop gets vertical and this is a tight trail this is a look at the vertical market on that little sucker i mean that is a vertical market if i put it out to a larger trail below 54 it catches all this all the way up i'm just showing you how to get accuracy first and you can play with the trails but you can see here again look at that vertical movement it's getting in these vertical movements this is not a small move this is 37 all the way into the close of 90, and it got out at 44. It left 50 points on the books right here, 50 points on the books. So you can adjust your trail. Yes, they work on 24-7 too. I, I just do it because a lot of traders, Lisa, you really don't need to, you really don't want to run this sleeping. Something can happen with auto trading. Yes, and and. You know, now, what you can do, Lisa, is this. Um, what I like is time of day trade. So let's say that you want to just run this at, uh, let's say you just want to run this at a certain time, Lisa, from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock at the close, or from 9.40 to 9.50. I have a time strat in there. Like, it works really good from 3 to 4. You can separate your time strat by doing that also by saying, hey, it won't even trade unless the hours you specify. So let's say you just want to trade a time of day trades. Like to me, I like 9.35 to 11 o'clock. 
I love that time zone, but I don't like to let this thing trade from 11 to 1. So 11 to, now I got this thing running 9.35 to 4, all trades. But this is what I like to do. Then at, at 1 o'clock, I like to see it stock trades till 4 o'clock. And then it's done. You know, I take that two-hour window out when, in, when the volume goes down. But that's how I like to do it. You know, you don't have to do that. You know, you can, I'm not telling you this is the perfect targets, the perfect trails. You know, I'm showing you what works, you know, as a standard setting to get you going. Now, what you can do, what you can do, hey, Joe, are you in the background? What you can do is go up to here and go into uh, Strategy Analyzer. And with Strategy Analyzer, you click Strategy Analyzer, and then all of a sudden you can plug this in on the Strategy Analyzer also. So I can go to Strategy Analyzer and go like, okay, Lisa, I want to know the best time. Um, yeah, let me get Gerald title. Yeah, one sec, Jerry, and kill it in one second. Um, so you can do the market uh, as this thing's running here. So um, so we're up to, uh, right now we're up to February 5th. Right now it's a weekend right there, February 5th. I'm running this to 315. Here's the results that we're looking at so far. It's taking every single trade from 935 to 4 o'clock. Now it's starting to trade again. 935 to 4 o'clock. At the end of 315, we'll go over results. And then tonight, I'll run the replay again tonight for you guys uh, and add some more settings on here for you. We'll go over these settings after the scene gets done running today. And so you can see the difference in settings that I have set. Uh, but this thing is running on my two strategies down here. It's running on the zone strategy and the Momo strategy. But what you can do, Lisa, is you can go in here and go to Strategy Analyzer. You can type in JTrader. You can come up here and you go to optimize, optimization. And you can find out what time work, works best for that type of currency or what type of futures. Right? So you can go in here and you can look at, uh, you can optimize your settings for targets, for your trails, and all that stuff. You can put it in here. And let's say you want to go, you don't know what moving average to use. And you want to start out with between 5 and let's say 20. You know, it will tell you in between 5 and 20 what's the best one to use with this strategy, with the momentum strategy. Or what's the best trail to use down here. You know, let's say if you use a 20 Rinko, you know, you want to look for a trail of minimum 20 to let's say 75 and I'll tell you right there after it gets done analyzing it'll tell you what the best trail is so you can use strategy analyzer we will do strategy analyzer in the, in the upcoming conference calls when this is in your hands this thing works really really well so if you can take if you don't want to take on bigger drawdowns I'll show you how to use that if you want to take on larger drawdowns with higher results like these are smaller drawdowns over here right with the breaking plus one features but it's still done very well it's only did a month of trading We're getting pretty good results on four contracts on just the uh, on the S&P